The House of Representatives has taxed the Nigeria Export Promotion Council to develop a blueprint aimed at improving the export capacities of Nigerians. The House Committee on Commerce, during the budget defense session of the Council, lamented Nigeria's continuous reducing export capacity. The chairman of the House Committee on Commerce, Femi Fakaye, says Nigeria cannot survive without foreign exchange earnings, hence the need to develop its industries and improve its export potential. No country today can develop compositely, that is on a comprehensive basis, without one thing, manufacturing. Yeah. Yeah. So if all you do, and I'm not blaming you or your uh, team per se, if we as a country, mm. I'm talking about, mm. focus on the export of raw mm. produce. I have bars of chocolate in my house, made in Ghana, of down cocoa. I have seen items from every coast, made of cocoa. What you need to do is do some hand holding. Get our nails dirty into the ground. What and what and what we have to do to really get into ah, we are doing our chocolate. We are now in another that you are asking for the budget of 2020. We know that we have COVID in 2020, but what effort? Because I listen to you that you'll be making with the, all this uh, institution for the our export because we rely on your words over here. Can you tell us your relationship and how to generate so that by the time you are coming to define for for your for the review, you will not be saying another thing. I, I, I see the potential that, that is Nigeria. At the same time, I'm tired of talking about the potential that is Nigeria. I'm really tired. You know, it, it's about time that we realize this potential. Look, the zero oil plan states it out. Increase production, increase productivity all across these lines. And then you get into where Nigeria should be. I'll just give you an example. For Coco, Coco for example, we are on about 300,000 uh, 300, metric tons. It's shameful for Nigeria.